Super Frankie Lampard, could he be the next manager to break or exceed the average Chelsea manager tenure at Chelsea Football Club, which, by the way, is only two years under Roman Abramovich. Can he build a long-term dynasty, starting with a superb project here, right now, at Chelsea Football Club? Maybe. <laughs> Hey what's going on people, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, I hope you lot are all doing well today mate, I really hope that, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video which is on Frank Lampard's free year plan, which is something that I found interesting. Football writer and journalist David Ornstein spoke of this free year plan when I was listening to him talk on a podcast, the Ornstein and Chapman podcast. He said while doing research for stories regarding Chelsea Football Club recently, he heard a lot about a three-year plan that Frank Lampard pitched to not only the club and its officials, but also the players who he was trying to sign and transfer in, whether that be the likes of Hakim Ziyech or Timo Werner, or indeed try and convince other players to stay. This three-year plan consists of three years. Hold on. Three steps. Well, three steps will do. The first year and the first step while under the transfer ban is integrate the academy. We're going to start off by talking about that in just a moment, essentially bringing in the youngsters and steadying the ship. Step two and year two would be strengthening this base and foundation of what he's originally built with the academy lads by bringing in a quality. And we've seen a little bit of that already. And step three is win, dominate, conquer. Good stuff. So there's a lot to dissect and talk about with each segment and pretty much I'm going to make a pitch for while he's either been successful in what he's doing or while I think he will probably be successful in what he wants to do in his three step, three year plan at Chelsea Football Club. So strap yourselves in, it's going to be a fun video. I hope you enjoy it and if you like daily updates on Chelsea Football Club please do consider subscribing to this channel Football Therapy and if you do want to jump aboard make sure you do hit that bell notifications icon as it is important and if you want to help me out and do me a favour please drop a like on this video thank you very much alright let's get into it Why? Well, before we break down the steps very quickly I wanted to talk about the concept of a three year plan because something I've been speaking about recently here on Football Therapy is how Frank Lampard communicates with people, how he sort of woos people, how he sort of charms people. I've spoken recently on how he got the Derby County job. He was not a suitable candidate at all. He had no experience in management apart from a little bit of youth team stuff with Jody Morris, but really he was new and that was a high profile job. He charmed his way into that job by talking to Mel Morris. He was blown away, his own words, and gave Frank Lampard the job. Although Frank Lampard had a sort of relatively successful season at Derby County, it was good in terms of changing the ethos of the club and having a clear out. It wasn't necessarily mind blowing, but good. And somehow he lands himself the Chelsea Football Club first team coach job. Again, pretty incredible, but it's all down to how Frank Lampard communicates when he spoke to Roman Abramovich, Marina Granovskaya, and everyone at the club. He's such a good communicator, to repeat myself, and an intelligent man, obviously a very good footballing intelligent man, and has basically, when he talks to you, you believe him. So he wrangled himself the first team coach job at Chelsea. Lots of people, including myself, had reservations about this, but not necessarily because I didn't think he was capable. I'm his biggest fan. I always wanted Frank Lampard to manage Chelsea, but at the right time, I knew perhaps he has said the right stuff to get him into place, but could he do it? Could he manage Chelsea? And does he know what he's doing? Well, apparently yes. And the way he convinced people to believe in him and buy into his project was with said three year plan. And the first year was integrating the academy Academy. Of course, Chelsea had a transfer ban and lost Eden Hazard, so they had a problem with, I guess, numbers in many ways in the squad, but also quality. But Frank Lampard had previously worked with Jody Morris, the youth team coach, and Joe Edwards and Jody Morris were brought in to be his backroom staff at Chelsea Football Club. Now, the academy at Cobham trained very close to the first team, and the walk to get from the academy to the first team training facility is not far at all, and Frank Lampard wanted to close that gap metaphorically figuratively and literally. Suddenly you start integrating youth 
and Frank Lampard gave an absolute mental amount of debuts last season, sorry, this season my brain's melted, to loads and loads of different players, a record breaking amount of youngsters. And he's not just doing it for the records, he believes in these kids, he believes in the ethos of Chelsea Football Club, that bleeds down all the way down to the youngsters. He knows, as Mr Chelsea himself, Frank Lampard, how important it is for the players in the squad to know what it means to be Chelsea. And the best way to ensure you've got that in your current playing squad is to make sure you've got academy players who've been playing for the badge their whole life, who have idolised the likes of Frank Lampard and people around him who've been winning at Chelsea knows what it, knows what it means that if you play for Chelsea, you have to win. You're not just bringing in talented cultured players from abroad that are good but don't really know much about the club so you need that foundation you need that core of real Chelsea players and because of Chelsea's academy so good they are good enough and that's the beginning his step one his foundation his year one of his three year plan sure it's great to bring in the academy kids as a feel-good project we've seen that the media's loved it they've lapped it up Chelsea have done pretty good the kids are all right Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, Reese James, Fick Tamori, there's more, they've all done well, but it's not enough. The loss against Bayern at home, the 3-0 humbling, really highlighted where Chelsea actually were in terms of where they are in their development and their quality. So step two is strengthen, add quality, use the finances of Roman Abramovich, use the savings that Chelsea have accumulated from not spending recently and making player sales, and essentially buy players. The transfer window isn't even open for his year two step, but Frank Lampard is making moves. He's already secured two players. Certainly the agreement of Hakim Ziyech, both clubs have announced his transfer, who is an incredibly talented right winger, attacking midfielder from Ajax, arguably, well, not even arguably, their best player coming to Chelsea to add quality in the final third. Frank Lampard has always maintained throughout the January transfer window and beyond. He needs goals and quality and finishing in the final third as well. Hakim Ziyech, of course, brings that, but no one would bring that more than Timo Werner. Not announced by either club yet, but as far as things stand, Timo Werner is coming to Chelsea. He will join this summer, sign a five-year deal, and Timo Werner is the perfect example of adding quality adding strength into a problem position, scoring a lot of goals. He will do that. So like I said, the window hasn't even opened and Frank Lampard is already doing bits, adding additional strength. But also, he wants to get a left back. That's obviously a problem position. He's identified that, him and his coaching staff, and they're looking to bring the likes of Ben Chilwell in, hopefully for him, as that's his priority target, or potentially Tagliafico, maybe even Alex Tellers, as suitable alternatives. So in terms of the strengthening, it's pretty self-explanatory. He said to the club, look, I'm the perfect guy to bring in these kids who are really good for step one. Remember Roman Abramovich, who's always wanted the academy integrated into the first team. That's why he invested so much money into the academy all those years ago. Now they're being brought through. Tick one, Frank Lampard. Now you're signing good players and making agreements. And remember, like I keep reiterating at the beginning of this video, and indeed previous videos, Frank Lampard's charm is a really good asset to bring in these players like the likes of Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner. The main reason why they chose Chelsea is because they were speaking to Frank Lampard for a long time and he managed to convince him. So step one and step two complete. Step three, win. Dominate, challenge at least. No longer are you part of the process, you are part of the solution? Does that work? Anyway, winning. So this is obvious, you start with a core of talented youngsters, you add the strength and quality, you should have an excellent team at that point that knows what it means to play for Chelsea while also having the cultured experience from the continent. You built this hybrid machine that should be able to win. And really, this part of the plan is a question posed to all of us. Do we believe in Frank Lampard's managerial ability to succeed at Chelsea Football Club? And obviously this would be the third year. If he completes the third year, he's already gone past the average tenure of a manager under Roman Abramovich, which is of course two seasons. And could he have a successful third year and beyond? Maybe. We know Frank Lampard is intelligent. He's forward thinking. He's freshly out of the game itself, so he knows what it means and what it's like to be a player in this recent footballing climate. But we know he's not stubborn and we know he's not dogmatic. We know he's not a particular philosopher that's going to stick to one style of football. He's used many different formations. He's used many different tactics. He's trying it out. He's trying different things with different players. He knows and will admit when he's wrong, which is the perfect state of mind 
for a young manager developing. I think Frank Lampard will be the first to admit he's kind of learning on the job. He'd be silly to say otherwise, it's his second year of management. Sure, he might be a good character to do it, but he's still got to learn. I think he trusts so much in Jody Morris to help him out, who's been managing youngsters for years. But everything's going well so far. They've integrated the kids. He looks like he's building a super squad and convincing superstars to join. Chelsea have also had excellent performances. Sure, they've had frustrating performances in between, losses to like smaller teams, but they've also beaten big teams and they all believe in the coach, which is a massive important thing. There has to be the element of camaraderie with your coach. If you don't have that, you won't win championships, titles, leagues, cups. It looks like Frank Lampard can instill that. He's also no pushover. He's a disciplinarian. If you say something bad in the media, he will bench you. He will show that he knows, well he knows what it is to be a good coach, he's played under like countless world class coaches throughout his playing career. Although I can only speculate that he will be a success looking at him now and looking at how he's structured this three years that he's pitched to both Abramovich, Granovskaya, the players etc. Everything's looking good so far and Frank Lampard's charm to the players, to the media, to the officials, to the manager and to someone like me, I believe him. And I believe in Frank Lampard's three year plan, his three step plan, and so should you. And if you've enjoyed this content I've produced for you guys today, please do like the video. That means a lot. Remember to drop a sub, drop a sub. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. What else? Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's starting again soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.